Silverlands Grains Farms in Zambia have perfect climatic conditions for growing grains under irrigation. The farms primarily grow soya beans and maize in summer and wheat in winter. Seed maize is a high value crop that has been added to the summer program. It has significant benefits on raising smallholder farmers' incomes and reducing impacts on the environment and climate. The farms have required major infrastructure developments, including all offices, stores, workshops, as well as housing, a dam, roads, fields, irrigation, and silos. The main finance function for all three Silverlands businesses in Zambia is run from our office in Lusaka. Irrigation ensures we can supplement rainfall at crucial growing times in summer and benefit from a winter cropping season. The Kakushi Dam was built by Silverlands in 2016 and is 14 million cubic meters. There are no other major water users in the catchment. The Kakushi South Dam behind me was completed at the end of 2016. And even though the rains finished off two months ago, as you can see, it's still performing well at over 80%, even though we are nearing halfway through irrigating our wheat crop. The Silverlands Zambia operation relies on the Luwombwa River. There is potential to store water at one of the two dam sites. The Sasa Dam is a natural break between two hills offering an excellent location for a dam. The existing dam is small and could be raised to increase the storage capacity. A second dam site is the Luwombwa River catchment upstream of the Silverlands operation. This dam would offer water to all the farmers in the block. Silos with the 6,000 ton capacity have been built at Kakushi, close to both a national road and a railway. The storage capacity of this complex is 6,500 tons with plans to extend to 30,000 tons in the near future. This site was chosen for its proximity to the Tazara railway line behind me, linking us to Tanzania and other parts of Zambia. The proximity to the tar road is also beneficial for transport via road link. A good team is critical for the management of these projects. With Silverland, we, we take so much pleasure in our team because we've built a team that is experienced, that is qualified, uh, that is passionate about what they are doing. As a farm, we've embarked uh, on techniques of farming that shall preserve uh, the ecosystem. And that's why we have embraced uh, integrated pest management, in short IPM. So what we do is we'll go in the field, do the scouting, establish the threshold of the pests, before we can uh, do end sprays. So we've thought to embrace uh, IPM so that we can be farming in a safe environment. Precision agriculture is no new concept, but relatively new to Zambia. Silverlands make use of yield monitors on the combines grid sampling every two years, and NDVI images every two weeks of the crop. These tools are available to make better use of inputs for the cropping. Better use of these inputs by variably applying fertilizer and lime allow management to achieve better yields whilst lowering costs. Water use efficiency is maintained by the use of a weather station, soil moisture probes, and an irrigation schedule. For the welfare of our employees and their families, we have built staff housing and started a school. A clinic was built and officially opened in 2019 for the benefit of our staff and neighboring communities. The farms have established demonstration plots to help train neighboring smallholder farmers in conservation farming techniques. The NGO Foundations for Farming assists with the training. We're very grateful for this partnership with Silverlands, Foundation Zambia, is working hard in the community to help people increase their yields and increase them in a sustainable way so that together we can build a sustainable future.